Okay, so what is HTML? HTML stands for Hypertext Markup Language and is the code behind most of the websites on the world. But HTML is not a programming language. HTML is a markup language, which use markup tags to describe web pages. And HTML5 is the latest version of HTML, which brings new stuff to web designers and web developers. So let's have a look on some old websites built with HTML and compare them with modern website built with HTML5. Here you can see how the Google looks like in 1996 or maybe Wikipedia in 2001. And now with HTML5 we can design more interactive websites with embedded videos and features like drag and drop or geolocation. In this chapter, we focus on structure and semantics of HTML5. To understand why the improvements in structure of HTML5 are so important, we need to have a look in sample web page. So in here, I have page built in HTML4. This is familiar to anybody who works with HTML. Here we have head element and an order list, which is our navigation, couple of H tags, h1, h2 for example, and a div section with paragraph inside. So now let's have a look on HTML5 based website. We can easily see here is a navigation with list of items and an order list inside. Now below we have article with some text inside and a footer. All these tags make some sense to us. We can easily identify where the article is or the footer. So HTML5 is easier to understand for us and more easier to understand for Google Spiders, for example. This gives us a huge improvement to the search engine optimization because HTML5 websites are easier to index by any user agent. They might appear in higher position in any search engine. HTML5 is the future of web video. In past years, you need to download external plugins to watch videos online. And this was annoying because you could have some problems with plugins and risky because of low level of security. Now, you don't need to download any plugins. You don't need even think about that. All you need is a modern web browser and with one line of code, you can easily publish your video online. Isn't it great? Well, yes, but you need to remember about different video formats that supports HTML5. For example, Safari Internet Explorer and Google Chrome supports MP4 H.264 format and Firefox, Chrome and Opera supports OGG format. The last format is WebM, which is supported by Firefox, Chrome and Opera. So don't forget to upload at least two different video formats to your server. Otherwise, some of your visitors may not be able to view your videos. We know HTML5 is new technology and we know that some HTML features are not supported by web browsers. This leads us to questions what can I use now and what level of support the web browsers offer for HTML5. Well, it's very hard to say what features of HTML5 you should use because this changed so fast. So with that in mind, I will show you online resources which will help you keep up with HTML5 specification and support level. I will start here with Wikipedia and comparison of layout engines section. If you scroll down, you can see table with all HTML5 elements and their support level. The next web page is Expressive Web brought by Adobe. Here we can navigate to CSS3 transform section. We can mess with some transform like skew or rotation. And of course, we can check current browser support. The last page will be html5test.com. In here, you can test your browser based on HTML5 support. 
So if you go down, this will tell you which part of HDMI specification is testing for. So I'm testing Maxton on Windows 7 and this has amazing score of 437 points. But if you check Internet Explorer 9, it will get only 138 points. I hope these web pages help you check what HTML5 features you can use with your projects. But remember, all those change very fast and HTML5 supports gets better and better every day.